This is Plum Village in southern France. For the last 40 years, it's been the home in exile of one of the world's leading Buddhist teachers, Thich Nhat Hanh. He was exiled from his native Vietnam for his efforts to bring peace during the Vietnam War. In the 1950s, Thich Nhat Hanh recognized the need for change in his homeland. So he began the School for Youth for Social Services. He built schools in the cities and rural districts to educate children who had no other source of education. He created clinics to offer basic health care for his people. And he began farming programs to provide sustainable living. But the war changed everything. And they found themselves in a situation where they have to become enemies of each other. So in such a situation, you have to find a way to survive and to help others survive. And our thinking was, man is not our enemies. Uh, our enemies uh, are misunderstanding, discrimination, violence, hate, anger. And one day, the war came to the school. Sister Chan Kung, one of the founders of the school, was fortunate not to be around when the soldiers came. We are not far from the military camp in the countryside and masked people with grenades. They came and they throw on our friends and brought them to the river bank. And they said, are you from the school of youth for social service of Tishnatan? And our friends said that, yes. And they touched gently the head of each friend and they said that we are sorry but we are forced to kill you. And they shot. It's horrible. It's difficult to forgive. As the war continued, Thich Nhat Hanh became part of the Buddhist delegation to the Paris peace talks. His efforts earned him the admiration of many, including writer Thomas Merton and Martin Luther King Jr., who nominated him for the Nobel Prize for Peace. Thich Nhat Hanh eventually settled in southern France and began his monastery in Plum Village, where each year thousands attend workshops and retreats. If you are filled with anger, what you do, what you say, will create more suffering for yourself and for the other person. That is why those who are wise do not want to say anything or do not want to do anything while anger is still in him or her. And when you are calm, when you are lucid, you will see that the other person is victim of confusion, of hate, of violence transmitted by society, by parents, by friends, by the environment. And when you are able to see that, your anger mm, is no longer there. And many people get angry at their father. They decide that when they grow up to be a father, they will not behave like their father. And yet, if they, they don't do anything to change, when they grow up to be a father, they will repeat exactly what their father has done to them. And that is why we have a wonderful exercise of meditation that has helped so many uh, angry uh, sons and daughters who have come to Plum Village, breathing in. I see myself as a five-year-old child. Breathing out, I hold that five-year-old child in me with tenderness. Breathing in, I see my father as a five-year-old boy. Breathing out, I smile to my father as a five-year-old boy. 